so so I'm gonna show you how to utilize the step and repeat feature uh, on Coral Draw uh, to create this kind of you know, uh, figure. So this one is made using the step and repeat feature. So I'm gonna show you how I made it. Uh, first of all, draw a rectangle using this rectangle tool like this. Very simple. You can resize it. Uh, so now you're gonna choose from here step and repeat. Now first we have to move it to the right. So let's say here you can put number of copies uh, let's say five and we're moving it horizontally so horizontal settings should be spacing between objects and space between objects uh, after choosing this um, this option we can see this one distance and direction direction is right and distance should be like 0 0.1 inch and here uh, for the vertical settings we don't need this one so we choose this op option no offset so we just need to apply it see so we get this thing after this we can select all the five or uh, six rectangles and move them vertically so now we don't need to move horizontally so uh, choose the option no offset uh, and uh, for the vertical settings we choose spacing between objects and the same thing distance 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 inch direction down here we can choose like here we have one two three four five six seven seven rows so we can choose six number of copies six so here apply see now this is a little bit you know bigger than the uh, page uh, the document page so we can do control Z and reduce it receive the number uh, uh, reduce the number of copies to five and apply this, uh, this one looks better and select all and move it a little bit up upward now what you have to do is after selecting all you have to do this one use this option which says creates a new object that surrounds the selected objects click here you get a new object which acts as a single object here we have different object different objects but here we have one object so now we can delete this one bring it here and now see when we paint it you know all over just gets painted all over we don't need to paint them separately so now we can just like uh, we don't need this stroke so it's none looks better now we go to fountain fill and instead of white you choose yellow and here for the uh, angle option we can uh, do like this minus 90 and okay see in this way we can create beautiful you know uh, uh, patterns or 
any other things using step and repeat this one is very useful otherwise if there is no step and repeat option we can not create it so fast I mean we have to you know create them separately so it becomes very hard so use this step and repeat option and get your work done fast